All right, it's freezing out here today. We're keeping it super simple, doing a little perch fishing today. And our strategy is gonna be to call perch in with a flashy or loud lure. And then once we have a nice school going, we'll drop something a little bit more finesse down there. And this little guy is what I'll be using to finesse them. I know this looks ridiculous, but I'm hoping I get some good video because I actually enjoy that just as much as fishing. I'm using just a chartreuse slab grabber. A bunch. Whoa, what is that? This didn't even hit the bottom. Oh, it's a big perch. Yeah. That is a nice little perch. Third drop. It's always nice to bring a couple fish home. Let the really big ones go and let the small ones go. When it comes to finding perch, one great thing about that is um, you don't need a snowmobile or a machine. You can just walk out from shore, easily accessible fish. I'm fishing in like 10 feet of water. My lure's maybe eight feet down.
pretty sick shot. I just moved my tip up so I can see it in the background, sort of. beauty just a little tungsten jig it's not even 11 a.m. yet and we've uh, got some nice fish for the frying pan saw a nice pike come through send me a message and we'll figure out what time to meet here it got pretty busy here around 7 in the parking yeah. lot yeah well that's I, I, if I got if you got to get a good spot you got to get there early yeah. Whoa! Jesus! Hold up! Hold up! Hey! Jesus! Okay! Oh! Relax! You know there's a reason you know there's a reason why it's called actually Andrew fishing and that's to show you what actually friggin happens when I go fishing there's one nice fish Nice jumbo perch. There's one. Oh yeah, there's a school of jumbos down there. Let's get them back down there. Oh, there's some nice fish. This tungsten jig head's killing it right now. Another eater. He inhaled it. And it was so quiet for like two hours. More. And then the school just moved in. Boom, another one. And I'm using my crappy reel. That's the thing, uh, perch move in schools, so when the school's here, you gotta move quick. Ooh, another one. Oh, there's some big ones down there. Let's go. I'm pulling up fish on like every cast right now. There's the Man, there's some nice fish down there, but it's gotta get it out of these little guys' mouth. Perch fishing can be really underrated because it just went from zero to a hundred. Like, can't snap. My hands are frozen and wet. Like that. Those fish were so aggressive. I could see them attacking my uh, my tip up. He's going after my freaking tip up which is like a four inch shad like they were swimming off with it oh you look decent oh yeah whoa nice fish this reel is so cheap oh. 
Lost him in the hole. That was a nice fish. Oh, there's a nice one. I want that second one. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, he went for it. He's going back. He's going back. You okay? What do you want me to do? Uh, You're welcome. Yeah, so to explain what happened a bit there, I was sitting in the hut and I heard a loud bang. I knew something had uh, banged into it and looked out the window and saw one of those big kites uh, on the ground. And when I came out the other door, there was a guy who had fallen over. He was, uh, I'd say he was kind of in distress. He was like exhausted. He could barely talk. You should probably know what you're doing before you uh, decide to use them around other people. So yeah, I helped him get it back up in the air, and um, I don't know, he lasted another 30 seconds before he crashed it again. Okay. And then he just gave up and went home, which was probably the right move. I would have been pissed off, but uh, he was obviously struggling. Total circus out here, total circus. Can't tell if that's frost or if I'm just going gray. What's happening? If you're new to perch fishing or if you're experienced, I'm going to recommend a video for you to watch by Average Ontario Anglers. It covers all the basics. I'll put the link in my description below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Have a great day.